Hey, hi, hi, hi. I am really glad you're here with me today um, because that tells me that you made it through day one of the Consistency Pace Setters class. So um, I'm excited that you're here and that we get to spend a little bit more time with each other. So um, I hope you enjoyed your first day too. Let me talk to you here for a minute. Um, what did you think? Were you able to um, get through the activities? Okay, you know, if you've never used a day planner that like that before, or even um, planned out a week at a time of your business life and your regular life and, and put that all down on paper so that you could see it, um, that can just kind of be a little like, wow, what am I doing here? <laughs> so um, I hope you were able to do that and get through that. The thing of it is, if you weren't able to complete it all, it's okay. This is a new day. You're going to start over again. And um, nobody is going to send a whammy down because you didn't completely complete day one. Okay. So that is the only thing I expect of you is that you do your best. Things happen. Maybe we're not able to do it exactly the way we had it down. That's okay. This whole uh, lesson consistency class for you is something that I want you to be able to um, be comfortable with and learn from and and pick up some things that are going to improve your skills and uh, make your business run smoother. So with that said, this is a new day and we are on lesson two. So let's get started with that, okay? Let's start with this. Don't let the world tell you who you are. You get up and you show the world who you are. That's by Adrian Posey. So, you know, I spent um, a while in my life in this, in this industry because I've been with other companies and I um, would look at other people and how they were doing their business. You know, we can learn a lot. We can learn a lot of good things about other people who help us and, and watching them and, and doing the processes that, we do, that they do that are successful, that we were replicating. I think that's wonderful that we can learn from each other. The thing that I found myself doing, though, is that I felt like, okay, they're doing this thing and I should do that. But then I thought, well, maybe I should wear my hair like them, or maybe I should talk like them, or maybe I should act like them, and maybe maybe I should have a more bubbly personality, and maybe, you know, all these different things. And um, that wasn't who Becky was. That wasn't me. So some of those things just wouldn't work because I, I was trying to implement them and not be who I was. It's so important for you to be you because you're unique and you're wonderful and you are going to do that thing, learn skills and do them the way you do them, not with your personality, not with my personality. So feel good about that. Do that. Make this your own. Learn the skills. Yes. But be you and pour you into it, okay? And, and just enjoy that. Enjoy that process and realize that you don't have to look like anybody else or any of that, okay? Just be who you are. So let's go on with day two lesson, okay? So who are you? And your I am affirmations. So this is quite simple and simply extraordinary at the same time. What you tell yourself you are, you will become. I'm a big fan of the book of Proverbs and this one proverb really tells it like it is. Above all else, guard your heart. And the reference to heart in um, in the scriptures usually means your mind, your will, your emotions. That's what that's referring to. 
For everything you do flows from it. Everything we do flows from our mind, from our will, from our emotions. And that is huge. That is huge. Everything you do comes from what you think. Your thoughts create your actions your actions create who you are. So I want you to kind of take a little time and think about that. What do you think about? What are you letting in to your mind? What are you listening to? What are you reading? Um, You know, what's coming across the airways uh, in your home? Think about those things because what you're putting in there is affecting what you're creating in your everyday life and for your future. It's so, so important. So we're going to jump right into the consistency activity number one for day two. Today, create your I am list. These can be things that you already are, things that you want to become or want to have happen. So it may not even be something that you're even close to achieving yet, but I want you to say that you already are that. I am this. This is a skill and a powerful tool that can help manifest positive things into your life. Your list will have three columns, and here are some examples of that. So what I have is my emotional and spiritual column, my physical and health column, and my business column. These are the three things that I focus on to put my I am's into. So here's some examples. I am meditating or praying for five minutes every morning. Um, I am reading a positive book for 10 minutes every day. You're going to notice that I don't put big old huge things in like, okay, I'm going to meditate for an hour today and I'm going to uh, read a book for an hour today. These are achievable time slots. If you go over, if you've allotted time to go over into your daily schedule, then that's fine. But this is what I am doing for sure. I am listening to positive music every day. I am more confident than ever. I am relaxed and calm. It's really important for me. I am full of courage and I stand up for myself. Then under the physical health, I'm drinking 10 glasses of water a day. I am eating what's best for my body every day. I am exercising for 10 minutes a day. I am motivated to take better care of myself. I am grateful for my healthy body. I am active and fully alive. So let's go over to business. I am a master of booking parties. I am building a six-figure income. I am the best at customer service. I am more than able to achieve all my goals. I am burning to succeed and ready to excel. I am taking action. You know, you can have a really, really fun experience with this because it really makes you decide what you want. What do you really want? It makes you think about those things in each of those categories. So I want you to have fun with that and and work work with that, figuring out what is your I am? What are you creating and uh, thinking and creating? So... Here's the thing. I don't want you to write things like, I'm going to try or I am going to think about because that's not saying who or what you are. That is is just not going to get it. Okay, you can't think about it. You can't try. You have to go, I am 
this is what I am. That is really important about this whole process. So today you're making a commitment to read these to yourself at least twice a day. Once in the morning when you get up and right before you go to sleep, put them where you can see them. I have one on my nightstand, I have one taped to my bathroom mirror, and one posted on the wall in front of my desk. I see them all day long. Um, by taking this simple step, you are doing several things for yourself. Number one, you are telling yourself who you are. You are in control of that, not someone else. That is super important. Number two, you are creating a consistent pattern in your day. It may not seem like much, but this is huge. This is again, this is another consistency step. This is helping you learn to be consistent with that positive thing, putting that positive thing into your life. I am. And number three, you are reminding yourself of your direction. So you are less likely to be diverted by outside influences, okay? You will find the I am list at our team training site to print off, or you can simply make up your own, take a sheet of paper, make, you know, three lines of it on it and, and put your um, titles up at the top there and start deciding who you are, okay? And let's work on that. Number two, consistency activity. Tonight, before you go to bed, take tomorrow's daily do it list and fill out the high five sections on the right for business needs and your personal needs. If you're doing the food thing, if you're planning your food, everything, then plan your food out and have that down there. Okay, too. You can put that on there if you want to, but that's a need to do every night so that you are on track for the next day. You know what you're going to be doing. Consistency activity number three, read your brand new I am affirmations before you go to bed. Neuroscience researchers at the University of London did studies that suggest sleep may make it harder for people to forget things. This tells me that whatever you and I are thinking about before we go to sleep is what's going to be on our minds and influencing us when we wake up. You make the choice of what you want that to be, okay? And those positive affirmations, I think that's a really good choice because it is helping you see who you're gonna be, who you are right now, and helping you create that person that you are going to be in the future tomorrow, right? So you are doing great on day one and day two. Keep it up. We're doing this together. And I'm so excited. I love, I'm loving this, you guys. I really, really am. So um, big hugs to you. Have a super, super day. And I will see you back here tomorrow morning. Okay. Well, have a great day. Bye for now.